CSGO review review too many hackers. Yeah, I've heard about all the hackers. It can be real annoying This game is 10% luck 20% skill 15% concentrated power of will 5% pleasure 50% pain and a hundred percent reason to purchase this game It was okay for the first few 12,000 hours and look you put another 1500 hours into the game like an abusive relationship Hate it while you're in it, but miss it when you're gone. This game's rating is irony because it is rated M. I really do not understand how it got itself an M rating. Should be fine for 10 year olds and up, but remember, some games are rated M because they are actually very bad for a child. Exactly, e exactly. The game is rated M for a reason. Counter-Strike CS GO. But I don't care if I play this. My mom, she don't want I play that because the bloods. I don't care. Kids is fine to plays. I listen to the voice microphone kids and is fine. This is exhibit A of why we shouldn't allow children on the internet. Exhibit B is Roblox. <laughs> Recommend it. At least it's not Fortnite. Am I right, gamers? This game is great, but it comes with a great curse. You will experience it. I experienced it. All will experience it. You will meet Bot Seth. You will try to fight back. It won't matter. Bot Seth will find you. Bot Seth will see you through walls. Bot Seth will shoot you through walls. You cannot run, you cannot hide, you cannot win. Bot Seth will kill you, and if you kill him, he will come back. Your only way to escape the curse is to leave, and hope he is not in your next round, because if he is, you will be brutalized by his M4. I got real Liam Neeson vibes from this. I will find you, and I will hack you. Best chicken chasing simulator of 2014. Digital knives actually cost more than real knives. 10 out of 10, good job, Valve. Would buy again. I've seriously thought about playing CSGO just to see if I can make any money off of it. How to play CSGO. Step one, download it for free. Step two, get level two. Step three, queue up for competitive. Step four, get destroyed by five cheaters. Step five, exit. Step six, buy it. Step seven, open it again. Step eight, queue up for competitive again. Step nine, team up with four Russians and get destroyed by enemy team. Step 10, quit. Step 11, download, buy cheats. Step 12, get banned. Step 13, get a virus. Step 14, cry. What an emotional roller coaster, but it sounds like fun. Hey, 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 don't say anything. Just give me back my money. Don't try to win, you'll lose. Try to lose, you'll win. 10 out of 10 matchmaking. Recommended, eats my pain away. From what I hear, it gives you more pain, so I'm not sure I believe you. CSGO is my favorite gambling loophole of all time. I let my five-year-old son open cases all day and he loves it, 10 out of 10. I came to this game for my fetish of chickens. Oh my God. <laughs> Next. You guys are weird. I don't always get flashbanged, but when I do, it's because my teammate, I threw it. After eight years playing it, I didn't improve my skills in game. However, I learned new language skills. Now I can curse in Russian and Brazilian Portuguese. Also, my tolerance level to guttural screams and loud sounds was increased. Now I can bear the crying of my children for longer, and I can make them feel better by singing sweet traditional songs from other cultures, such as Dark Eyes or The Girl from Impanima. In conclusion, Counter-Strike transformed me into a better father and a better person. In addition to making me more patient, tolerant to hateful people, and more trained in languages and cultures. Better than any psychiatric therapy. 10 out of 10, that sounds beautiful, man. I wanna try it. Sounds like a really wholesome game we have here. CSGO is quite good. Be me. Playing CSGO on PC. Join game. Normal game.jpg. Except it isn't. Somebody keeps spraying memes on the walls. The entire chat is a mess of spam. Hacker on server killing everyone. Someone on voice says, can someone help me over here? Seven year old kid says, I help your mom have another baby. <laughs> Good game, eight out of 10. I hate CSGO, I hate all of you, and yo, where my knife? I went on Mac'd place and lost knife. But did you get any money from it? Not recommended. I not can play. 1,694 hours on record. It looks like you fixed it. Lost a competitive match. Me. Okay, calm down. No worries. I'll win the next one. Lost a competitive match again. Me. Damn, not again. I'll definitely get the next one. And on and on into eternity. <laughs> Recommended 8,093 hours on record. It's okay, I guess. Dog died, so I played for eight hours. No food, no drink, no bathroom. 
just pain. Matchmaking, zero out of 10. Learning Russian, 10 out of 10. You either die a noob or live long enough to get called a hacker. More kids have started playing, so less toxic people. My son played this game and he only encounters someone swearing about once every month. I think your son is lying to you. Only play this if you want confirmation that your mother is being plowed by 12 year olds. Good God. My religion is Counter-Strike. Has been for 11 years. 11,000. 915 hours on record. That's like a thousand hours a year, a little more. You're either deemed a noob or a hacker by the community. There is no in between. Do you like to argue with random people on your team? Do you wanna learn how to speak simple yet essential Russian phrases? Do you like to dress up your guns with flashy yet useless skins? Of course you do. So hurry up and get this game and either drop it after a week or play for an eternity. This is really sad because it says he has zero hours played in the last two weeks. So I guess he dropped it after a week. It's like roulette, fun, until it turns into Russian. Either way, you're probably gonna die. Great game, ruined by cheaters. 26,933 hours on record. Now listen, I know people can fake their hours. So I did the math. That is three years nonstop. So even if he just opened the game and let it run, he would have to do it for three years to get that amount of hours. And that's impressive by itself. This game effectively ruined my social life. Recommended. This game saved my virginity twice. You know when you're hitting on a girl and things are going really well, and then during the conversation, she slides in the fact that she has a boyfriend and you die a little bit on the inside? That's what this game feels like. The only game where you can shoot someone three times in the head and they kill you. You hacked first, so I hack back. Turnabout's fair play. Without any doubt, the best choice for best use of a farm animal category in this Steam Autumn sale. Someday, chickens will rule the world. I anxiously await that day. I spent too much time on this game. Oh yeah, 20,000 hours on record. Same thing, even if he just opened it and let it run, it's impressive that his computer has been running it for over two years. The game where happiness dies. Buddy, you've only got 30 hours. You've got a long way left to go. If you're looking for a reason to live, this ain't it, chief. Too much bad things. For me, it'd have curse word, middle finger, and too much killing. Yeah, if they just would get rid of the killing part of the game, it'd be great for kids. There'd be no game left, but it'd be great. I shoot bullets at a person and they die from it. Sometimes they do not. Sometimes they shoot me. Very deep storytelling. Real Huntsman Survival Knife, $29. Virtual Huntsman Survival Knife, $299. That's real life money, dude. I wish you can get income for losing in real life. Oh, I'd be rich. How to get an expensive knife. Step one, you don't. Hope this helps. Your team in every random competitive game, you, Russian guy, another Russian guy, a six-year-old kid who slept with your mother, Russian guy who speaks English. 10 out of 10, that sounds like a, a pretty OP squad. This game brings memories. Those endless nights I didn't go to bed. Those days I played all day. This game was in the past. This game is a memory going away in the wind. The times you look back and sadly turn your head. You are growing up now. Time to move on. Time to get a job. Time to make something of your life. Time to be an adult. I know no one will read this, but that is okay. Is it really about someone reading it or the words I am typing away? The 26 letters forming words, words forming sentences, sentences forming language, language forming ideas and thought, ideas and thought forming adulthood. Bye CSGO, I hope I visit. Until then, it's been a good one. I feel like the perfect way to end that is like with a get wrecked noobs dab on them. I give the reviews for CSGO, like a 12 out of 10. There were so many good reviews that I couldn't even include them all because the video would have been way too long. We'll come back. It was hilarious. For 12, fuck. Let me just do the whole thing. I screwed up earlier, I know. This game's read, This game was in it. Get chafe. Why can't I talk?